Hopefully in a couple of years, data will stream into a digital twin of Earth, running in Omniverse. An ensemble of physics ML models will predict the climate. Let's talk about Omniverse. The internet changed everything. It's surely an understatement. We are always connected now. The internet is essentially a digital overlay on the world. The overlay is largely 2D information, text, voice, images, video. But that's about to change. We now have the technology to create new 3D virtual worlds or model our physical world. These virtual worlds will obey the laws of physics or not. There can be AI or friends with you. We will jump from one world to another like we do on the web with hypertext. This new world will be much larger than the physical world. We will buy and own 3D things like we buy 2D songs and books today. We will buy, own, sell homes furniture, cars, luxury goods, and art in this world. Creators will make more things in virtual worlds than they do in the physical world. We built Omniverse for builders of these virtual worlds. Some worlds will be built for gathering and games, but a great many will be built by scientists, creators, and companies. Virtual worlds will crop up like websites today. Omniverse is very different than a game engine. Omniverse is designed to be data center scale and hopefully someday planetary scale. The portal of Omniverse is USD, Universal Scene Description, essentially a digital wormhole that connects people and computers to Omniverse and for one Omniverse world to connect to another. USD is to Omniverse what HTML is to websites. Omniverse is futuristic. Omniverse can connect design worlds, things created in the Adobe world, can be connected to those in the Autodesk world through Omniverse, enabling designers to collaborate in a shared space. Changes by a designer in one world are updated for all connected designers, essentially like a cloud shared document for 3D design. Omniverse will revolutionize how the 40 million 3D designers in the world collaborate. Companies can build virtual factories and operate them with virtual robots in Omniverse. The virtual factories and robots are the digital twins of their physical replica. The physical version is the replica of the digital, since they're produced from the digital original. Omniverse digital twins are where we will design, train, and continuously monitor robotics factories and buildings, warehouses, and cars of the future. Let me show you some of the fundamental technologies that make Omniverse possible.
we are releasing a big update to Omniverse today with some exciting new features. Showroom, an Omniverse app for demos and samples that showcases core Omniverse technology, graphics, physics, materials, and AI. Farm, a systems layer that orchestrates the processing of batch jobs across multiple systems, workstations, servers, bare metal, or virtualized. Farm can be used for batch rendering, synthetic data generation for AI, or distributed computing. Omniverse AR streams graphics to phones or AR glasses. Omniverse VR is the world's first full-frame interactive ray-traced VR. Since launch last year, Omniverse has been downloaded 70,000 times by designers in 500 companies. Along with us, the community, companies, tool providers are building Omniverse connectors. There are 14 available now and 15 more coming soon. Bentley announced that iTwin with Omniverse is now in early access. Bentley is not just connecting the Omniverse, they're building their digital platform on it. Bentley is used by 90% of engineering firms and has nearly 2 million users of Bentley iTwin. Heat Recovery Steam Generators, or HRSG, converts the hot gas out of a combustion turbine into steam, which drives a steam turbine to generate electricity. Corrosion is certain, so inspection and maintenance are needed. Siemens Energy estimates that by predicting corrosion accurately, they can reduce inspection during regular maintenance and unplanned downtime by 70%. Reducing the industry five to seven days can save nearly $2 billion a year. HRSG corrosion is a multi-physics problem with a combination of flow characteristics, water chemistry, and operating conditions. Using NVIDIA Modulus, the Physics ML Framework, and Omniverse, we've created a digital twin platform with Siemens. Let's take a look. This massive heat recovery steam generator uses hot gas exhaust to convert water in the pipes into steam for the turbines. Predicting corrosion to avoid downtime is challenging. Reduced order models aren't extremely accurate, and full simulation takes expertise and time. Siemens Energy is developing a digital twin with NVIDIA Modulus for the multi-phase turbulent flow. With point cloud data to train a physics-based AI model, they can infer high fidelity flow shown by the streamlines in seconds. This could reduce downtime by 70%, saving the industry $1.7 billion a year. BMW produces one vehicle per minute, each with roughly 25,000 parts. There are 5 million parts on the factory floor at any time. At GTC Spring, BMW showed us how they're building a digital twin of the Rogensburg factory. They have since expanded to three other factories, totaling 10 million square meters. Their engineers are also using Isaac Jim, built on Omniverse, to teach their robots new skills. Let's take a look at the digital twin factories that BMW is building. BMW has continued building on the momentum of their Factory of the Future initiative we showed you earlier this year. On average, they produce one new vehicle every minute, expanding the initiative to now include digital twin projects at three additional factories, which total more than 6 million square meters. Meeting BMW's demands for continuous improvement and innovation requires simulation of complex production scenarios to speed output, increase agility, and optimize efficiency everywhere. NVIDIA Omniverse introduces new simulation capabilities everywhere BMW needs to make critical decisions and introduce automation. BMW and their partners have also been connecting new users and tools to expand the Omniverse ecosystem. Spanning every aspect of the BMW factory of the future, Omniverse allows BMW to collaborate and simulate from the entire plant level down to comprehensive engineering detail. Ericsson is building a digital twin of a whole city to configure, operate, and continuously optimize their fleet of 5G antennas and radios. This is a really great story. Take a look. There are 15 million 5G microcells and towers planned for global deployment in the next five years. 
Ericsson is using NVIDIA Omniverse to build digital twin environments to help determine how to place and configure each of their sites for the best coverage and network performance. In Omniverse, Ericsson builds city-scale models that are physically accurate down to the materials of the buildings, vegetation, and foliage. Then, wireless network components are added including the precise location, height, and antenna pattern of each transmitter. Ericsson built a custom Omniverse extension, enabling them to integrate radio propagation data and leverage Omniverse's RTX accelerated ray tracing to quickly visualize and calculate the quality of the signal at every point in the city. Because Omniverse materials are physically accurate, the intensity of reflections are precisely determined. Antenna beam forming and signal paths can be accurately simulated and visualized. In the simulations, the lobes signify transmitter antenna beam forming and the straight lines are signal paths. The colors of the signal paths denote strength in decibels and data throughput, from blue is the weakest to red is the strongest. Visualization is a critical capability for Ericsson. With Omniverse VR, network engineers can virtually explore any part of the model, teleporting to any location, anywhere in the world, at one-to-one -one scale. As they tune the network for optimal performance or identify path disruptions, they can literally see the effects of their adjustments in real time, things which aren't visible in real life. In Omniverse, Ericsson can perform true-to-reality remote simulation of entire 5G networks, enabling them to design more efficient and reliable networks, conduct remote field trials, and speed up deployments. Someday, that fleet of antennas will use AI to learn the best beam forming and signal strengths to optimize the quality of service and throughput in the city while conserving energy.